Welcome back to this weird second channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Rebecca and I am actually a German speaking YouTuber. So if you do by any chance speak German, go check out my main channel about universities, studying and all those fun things. This is my channel for shits and giggles. So I just come out with random videos about random topics all the time. And today it is my skincare. Actually, a lot of you or a lot of people from my main channel asked me about my skincare and I thought it was finally time to talk about the subject because I feel like I've really refined it. I've really like gotten it down to a perfect point. And I'm going to talk about my daily skincare right here. I do have a few masks and things, but to be honest, I forget using them all the time. So I don't even, I wouldn't say I, I regularly use them if yearly, well, technically using them yearly is also using them regularly. So these are the things that I use weekly. So at least once a week, I use these things. And I would say that I have two different categories. So I have a category of skincare that is more active and that I actually bought for a reason. And then I have skincare that is luxury and very often my family and friends give me skincare because I don't know that I love skincare and my mom is a real Kiehl's fan. So she gives me a lot of Kiehl products and I would say those are luxury products. So those are products that make me feel good and pampered, but they're not necessarily necessary. So my skin, before we start talking about this, now I realize I should have not have makeup on in this video, but I bulk film my videos. I, I have makeup on in other videos, so I'm gonna have makeup on in this video, but I will show you me taking off my makeup in this whole routine in B-roll. So there you go. Uh, I have oily uh, to normal combination skin and I have oily spots on my nose and on my chin. My forehead has actually been pretty okay and I have quite visible pores. I, I hate to say large pores because I think we just have, we have to start accepting our pores more and I'm trying to accept them more. So I'm going to say I have visible pores and um, I would like to do pore management and make sure that I don't get any zits or pimples or whatever. Because what happens to me is I don't, I don't get a lot of pimples or anything and I'm extremely grateful that for that. But when I do, they are horrible. They are very deep. They are deep, deep cystic pimples and I'm scared to death that they'll become more and like just have this culture on my face and so I just tried to to make sure I don't get them at all and I used to have bad acne when I had the wrong pill when I was taking the incorrect pill birth control and I had really bad acne then and so for a long time it was also my goal to get rid of acne scars and I've pretty much gotten rid of all of the scars from that time that's six years ago so it's been a while and I try to make sure that I don't have any scarring so those are my skincare goals and I think it's very important if you're really trying to figure out your skincare routine I think it's really important to actually talk Talk about goals because very often we we see skincare gurus online and we're like oh my god we need this and we need that and we need this but it's really important to understand what is my skin what do I need and what would I like to have because there are some things that I just don't have I don't know I don't feel like I need that but other things where I'm like yes starting off with cleansing I am all for the oily cleanse and this is actually a German product this is Balea Reinigungsöl this is probably the cheapest product in this whole bag <laughs> that I have over here. And this is an oil cleanser. It's really good for getting off makeup. And I bought this also for summer. I really like this to get all of my sunscreen off. So I like to use this. I yet like to use this in the evenings. I don't use this in the mornings. And sometimes I'll double cleanse in the evening just to make sure. Sometimes I still have the feeling that I still have too much oil on my skin and then I'll double cleanse. And sometimes this is just enough. So I kind of try to see what my skin feels like on that day. In the mornings, now, in the winter, I do not cleanse in the morning and the evening. In the winter, I only cleanse in the evening. And in the summer, I cleanse in morning and evening. It's very simple. In the summer, I sweat a lot overnight. We don't have air conditioners here in Germany and it gets really hot where I live. So I know that I'm going to need to cleanse in the morning. And for that, I have the Ultra Facial Cleanser by Kiehl's. So I got this in a set. And I think if I actually had to buy another cleanser, I probably would buy something different, but I still very much like this cleanser. It doesn't give you that stripped feeling that you're not supposed to have when you cleanse. Um, so I really like this. So the next step, if you are not familiar with skincare, you, you try to go from like the lightest texture to the heaviest texture. So after cleansing, the next step is toner. Toner is not necessarily a step that is necessary. I just enjoy this step. This is something, I guess, luxury. This is one of the luxury things. I just really like it. I like having my skin moist and it just helps absorb the things from the next steps. So what I have for toner is, I have two toners. One is this Paula's Choice toner. It's the 
for reducing toner with niacinamide from the Skin Balancing series. And I actually got this as a sample for free and I just loved it. Can't really say why, but this product is just, when I put this on, my skin feels great. It feels hydrated, it feels, it doesn't dry out. Even if the toner dries on my face, sometimes I'm not quick enough on applying the next step, on applying serum afterwards. But even when it does dry, it doesn't feel super dry. I just, I love the feeling that this toner gives me. And I don't think it's necessary. It does have niacinamide in it. So that's one active ingredient that can help like manage pore size and also control oil a little bit and help with hydration. Niacinamide is actually really great. But yeah, I don't think you need this, but it's just a product I enjoy. I, re I just enjoy this product. The other toner I have is actually one of my actives. It's the Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution by The Ordinary. There are two different acids you can use in skincare, and if you've seen skincare girls, they can explain it a lot better than I can. But there are essentially AHAs and BHAs. There are also PHAs, but I kind of don't get what they do. Still have to figure that one out. And AHAs are basically, they help like bring all of the surface stuff off of the skin. So like dead skin cells and just general things that dye on your skin or just polluted stuff and it helps just scrape that off and it exfol exfoliates a little bit but AHAs cannot get into your skin as deeply as BHAs which is the other type so this is more of a surface exfoliant I'd say I don't use this very often because I actually feel like glycolic acid is very very exfoliating on my face I think I might try lactic acid for my next AHA, which is another form of AHA and it's supposed to be a little more mild, but I'm going to use this up. And I'd say I use this about once to twice a week. In the summer, I usually just use a lot less of the exfoliating things because we get so much sun here. And in the winter, I use a little more. Uh, whereas this I use almost every day when I'm not using the other toner, just because I love it so much. So the next step is serum, and for a very, very, very long time I didn't really understand what serum was, but basically serum is something that has an active ingredient in it that is supposed to do something for your skin. Now, like I said, depending on what your skin goals are, that could be a completely different ingredient to what I am using right now. I'm pretty mild with my stuff, I think, I don't know. So I have two serums, basically, or one thing that's not necessarily a serum, it's an exfoliant, and one actual serum. So let's talk about the serum first. This is the Ordinary Niacinamide Serum. Basically, I get this because this is my everyday serum. If I'm not using anything else, if I'm not using another exfoliant, I will put this serum on. And because I go through it like crazy, I want to get the Ordinary because it's less expensive than others. However, I am not super happy with the texture. I feel like this niacinamide can be very sticky. I'm tempted to try maybe like Glossier's niacinamide. That one's supposed to be a lot better in texture, but since I use this so much, I just, I can't wrap my head around spending, I don't know, 30 to $40 on, on a niacinamide serum just because I use them so much. If I'm not using this serum, I will sometimes use this exfoliant. Actually, if I had to pick one thing I could keep, it would probably be this exfoliant. So this is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. And as I mentioned before, there are AHAs and BHAs. And BHAs are the exfoliants that can get into your skin more deeply than others. And it can help like reduce sebum. So the, the stuff that your pores produce that sometimes protrude like out of your pores and you think it's like whiteheads or blackheads, but actually it's just sebum. So like old oily stuff and dead skin cells and this really helps remove this and this is probably the thing i've seen the most results with because as i have visible pores i do they fill up with gunk all the time and i have i would have like a lot of these like white spots and i thought they were blackheads or whiteheads for a really long time but then i found out it basically is this sebum or sebaceous filament or whatever they're called and this really helped eliminate that, especially on my chin. I had it all over my chin. I really had that poor thing, and this was really the best. I use this maybe once or twice a week. Now in the summer, I really only use it once a week, and in the winter, I'll probably use it more often again. A lot of people apply serums and stuff differently. I usually just apply it to my hands and then to my face, and my hands I wash before I do the whole routine, so. That's kind of what I do. So I have several moisturizers here. During the day, I like to wear this Ultra Sheer Daily Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 30. 
by Paula's Choice. I'm not super happy with this cream. It is Moisturize AM. I think I'm gonna try one of their other creams or I think I might go back to moisturizing and doing sunscreen separately. I put this on. When I stay inside of the house, I'll wear just this because it's SPF 30, so I do have some sunscreen in there. And when I leave the house, I will put more sunscreen on, which is right now the Misha sunscreen, the Aqua 50 Plus, SPF 50. Yeah, but I, I don't like this moisturizer that much, so I'm probably going to test another one of theirs. In the evenings, I have two different moisturizers I can technically use. Like I said, my mom's a Kiehl's fan and she gave me the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I just like this cream. It's a nice cream. It's pretty lightweight. It, it sinks in very quickly and I really like this for the evening because it doesn't feel too heavy on my skin, but it still hydrates. I don't have any feeling of dryness afterwards and this also works for me in the summer. In the winter time, I will also use the Cozarx Comfort Ceramide Cream. It's more heavy than this at least. Let's put it that way and you can really notice that this is an occlusive so it basically like barriers up the skin so it doesn't lose any moisture in the evening and I really feel that and in the winter I feel like I need this but in the summer not so much so I usually don't use this in the summertime but I will use this in the in the winter time and then I'll just rotate between the two every evening. Uh, so I have another active that I use. So, so far we've had one AHA, one BHA, and niacinamide. And niacinamide is my daily go-to. The other ones I use like once to twice a week, depending on what I feel my skin needs. And then I have one other active in the form of a cream, which is this retinol cream, this Liliana Naturals. This is a 2.5% retinol, which is pretty strong, <laughs> but I have been using retinols for a very, very, very long time. Um, it was one of the things that really helped me get rid of the acne scars. And back then I started, I think at 0.5% and worked my way up. And which is why I'm now at this cream. I have tried several different creams in the past. I don't really have a favorite. I think as long as there is actually retinol in whatever you're looking at, it is going to make a difference. The really important thing is though to, to just, to start slow, start at your really low concentrations. And if you want to work your way up, if you don't want to, you can just stick to one part and just stick with that. I think after I empty this retinol cream, I'll probably get one with a lesser percentage just just because I don't think I need to be putting on this munch at 27, but I just wanted to try it because I heard it was supposed to be super good and it's really cheap. <laughs> so and I'm always on the lookout for a bargain. Yeah, and what I actually like about this is that it, the ingredient list really does start with organic aloe and then aqua, and a lot of uh, ingredient lists start with water and then the other stuff, and this one actually starts with aloe. And this is a really, really hydrating cream. So even though it does have an active in it, and I really do notice that it does something on my face, it's really hydrating and still very mild. And if I use retinol, I will only cleanse and then just put this on. So I don't even use toner, I just cleanse, put this cream on and just leave it at that. I usually don't mix my actives. You can stack a lot of actives. You have to be a little careful with retinol, but most of the other actives you can stack, especially with niacinamide, but I'm just really particular about not mixing them. I just don't do that for some reason. Let's go through this again. In this, so in the morning, in the summer, I will use a cleanser. In the winter, I'll just splash water on my face. And then I will go in with my toner and usually with niacinamide and one cream, one uh, AM cream, but I'm going to try a different one. In the evenings, I will go in with my oil, with my cleansing oil actually. And sometimes depending on what I feel like, I will double cleanse just to make sure. I don't know, I guess. Depending on what active day it is, I will use either an AHA as my toner or I will use this as my go-to toner. I just love this toner. And then I have several active options. So either I go in with an exfoliate with my BHA or I just use my niacinamide again. Yes, again. And then I have my moisturizers, which are either these. In the summer, it's usually only this. And in the winter, I alternate between the two. Oh, and I forgot my eye cream. Or I will just cleanse and use retinol depending on the day. I did forget my eye cream. <laughs> eye cream, now if you're, if you're starting out, eye cream is so not necessary because I mean, yes, the skin under our eyes is thinner, but it doesn't really do anything. So no reason to have eye cream. This is also one of the Kiehl's eye things that my mom gave me. She just knows. I love this, this eye cream. It, it doesn't do anything. I know it doesn't, 
but it feels so luxurious. It's this avocado eye treatment by Kiehl's and it's viciously expensive. So I would only use this when actually someone gives it to me. So thanks mom. <laughs> I, but I don't think I would buy it for myself, but I love this eye cream. It just feels so nice. It's really rich and it really hydrates my eyes, especially in the evening. It's just such a nice feeling to put it on. And I just feel like a skincare goddess after I do, but there's no is not necessary to use an eye cream. So if you if you want to save money, don't buy an eye cream. Just use your moisturizer. You're fine. Oh yes, in the morning I always put on SPF. That's basically all of my skincare. I know it's it's not it's not a small amount, but I really did think about which actives I wanted. So for me that was an AHA, a BHA niacinamide and retinol. The AHA is in form of glycolic acid, the BHA is in form of salicylic acid, niacinamide is just niacinamide and retinol just retinol. Let me know in the comments what you think of my skincare routine. You might not like it that much, so I don't know. Skincare is something that is so so personal and there's so much stuff out there and I, I don't know, just let me know what you think. I will see you soon for the next video. I don't know what the next video will be, maybe I'm a capsule wardrobe or something like that, but yes. See you soon.